what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a guy in Mexico who's running for president. In a televised debate on Sunday, he said that thieves should have their hands cut off. He didn't say that they should go to jail, they should do life in prison. <laughs> he didn't say that they should be starved. He said they should have their hands cut off. His name is Jaime Rodriguez. He's an independent known as El Bronco. And he said that, hey man, we got to do this. He said, we have to cut off the hands of those who rob. It's that simple. So the moderator was taken aback. The moderator was like, you know, ask him again, do you mean this literally? And he said, that's right. Just to make sure the moderator didn't get it twisted, he said, that's right again. <laughs> I guess old Jaime is trying to make Mexico great again. <laughs> this is crazy, man. You know, some people say like, man, that's, that's barbaric. But you know, that, that's happening in some countries already. I know it goes on in some regions of, uh, of uh, Nigeria. I know that it happens in the United Arab Emirates, Sudan. This was also done in Spain years ago. So this ain't something new. This is not a new phenomenon. And from what I'm understanding and what I've been reading online, this has a lot of support. It's a lot of people out there saying, yeah, chop off the hands. I'm gonna tell you something, man, let's be real. I really don't know anybody who's at least 20 years old who hasn't stolen something. I don't care if it was a crayon from your school. I don't care if it was a, a pencil from the bank or your job, man, everybody has stolen something. And if you say you ain't never stole something, you lying. Everybody has stolen something. Man, nobody would have hands if they really followed the ladder or, or the law to the ladder. No one would have hands. But this guy is dead serious, man. I wonder what his position would be on birth control. If he gets his way, because he said that he's going to ask Congress to back him if he becomes president. Now, it's a long shot that he becomes president because he's trailing big time in the polls. So he's trying to seem like he's trying to pull a Trump, like just say anything to, to get a reaction. Just say what people want to hear. You know, I'm an outsider. I'm not a politician. Uh, I'm a businessman, you know, for the people say what I really, really feel. But what is he going to do to people who lie? Is he going to cut their tongues out? Is he going to cut off the penis of rapist? You know, castrate him? I mean, is there, will there be an end to this? So I think before people start jumping on that bandwagon, they need to consider these things. Oftentimes, when there's a horrific crime, uh, and I don't know if, I, th I can think of a lot of things that are more horrific than stealing, but then it, it depends on what level you're stealing. If you're doing some Enron type stealing where you bankrupt people's 401ks, you know, you, you, you uh, pillage people's pension funds, and, you know, you're basically destroying lives, you know, people, money, people work for all of their lives and you just went in there and stole the money. Uh, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty barbaric to me. Okay. Now here's the $63,000 question. I don't know why people say 63. Why isn't it 73 or 64? Or, you know, whatever. What if they did something like that in America? America would not, 
Nah, I was about to say America wouldn't have all the crime it has. I beg to differ. America has already one of the stiffest judicial systems, and they punish very harshly already. I don't think it would be a deterrent in, in the United States because in the United States, money rules everything. The U.S., money come before life itself. Money come before your mama, your family, your wife, your children. People kill their own family members for money in the United States. So money is king in the United States. So I can imagine right now people with no hands still stealing. Somebody got the right hand chopped off, got the left hand chopped off, and still stealing and figured out a way to steal. And you know this is a capitalist society, so what are you gonna do? Get your hand chopped off, somebody gonna make a prosthetic. And you be out there, you gonna have all these people running around here <laughs> with prosthetics still stealing. Because there's something wrong with America's moral compass. You dig what I'm saying? And that is a collective thing. So. I don't think that that would be much of a deterrent in the U.S. But I just can't help but wonder if they did that in the United States to politicians, who would write the laws in Congress? I'll give you a minute to think about that. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.